bless you richly. You welcome to Daily Charge with Mountain Top Life Daily Devotional. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you as you listen from time to time in Jesus' name. Let's pray. Father, we thank you. There is no one like you. You are such a great and a wonderful God. What a wonderful God we serve. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to see the light of the day. I said, that thanks in the name of Jesus. As we go in your teaching this day, Father, we pray you open our understanding and at the end of it, shall we glorify. Teach us all of yourself. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Today, we are looking at the title, Speak Truth. Speak truth to power. And the memory verse for today is taken from 2 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 8. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 8. It says, For we can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. We can do nothing against the truth but for the truth. What do you want to do to the truth? You cannot kill the truth. Even if you try to kill it, it will still come forth. It may lose bitter, but there is nothing you can do about it. Truth will always manifest, no matter how you cover it. You may try to pretend to cover it for a long time, but at its own time, truth will always manifest. No matter how long you tell lies, it may even last for 100 years, even more than that, even less than that. But one, one second, truth will catch up with it. Truth will catch up with it. Look at motivational quotes. The only thing necessary for evil to triumph, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. For us to just allow things to be going the way it is, it's not, it's not supposed to be. We need to do something. The only thing necessary for evil to triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. When good men, the day they rise up, problems disappear. Prophetic word for today is a prayer for somebody. As you stand for the truth constantly, heaven will bless you tremendously in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Our fire scripture is taken from 1 Kings 22. 1 Kings 22, reading from verse 12 to 29. 1 Kings 22, from verse 12 to 29. It's a long verse, but let me just pick what he's trying to say. We'll look at it as we go along in the teaching. And all the prophet prophesy, so saying, Go up to Ramogilia and prosper for the lord shall deliver it into the king's hand the lord shall deliver it into the king's hand and when you read it down there is a prophecy some people are there some, some about 400 prophets are telling lies only one was telling the truth and which was micahiah the son of Imla. at the end of the day the truth prevailed truth prevailed truth prevail at the end of the day. Our Lord Jesus Christ has many names. Our Lord Jesus Christ has many names. One of those names, one of the names of Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. The King of all Kings. The Bible says in Revelation 1 verse 6 that he has made us kings and priests. We are Jesus is the king of kings. Alpha and Omega is another name we call Jesus Christ. The Alpha and Omega. The beginning and the end, another name of Jesus Christ. The Lord El Shaddai. El Shaddai. The Lion of the tribe of Judah is another name of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Lion of the tribe of Judah. And when other lions roar, the lion of the tribe of Judah swallowed all of them. Because his, way, his own roaring is louder and more powerful than other lions. We call him the rod of Jesus. 
we call him Emmanuel. Wonderful name. God with us. The Lamb of God. That's the name of Jesus Christ. We call him the Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ. The Savior, the Redeemer. You can call Jesus the Bread of Life. Another wonderful name of our Father. Son of the Living God is his name. The Holy One of Israel, the Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Almighty, the One that owns everything. He was, He is, and He will always be. The Almighty, the High Priest, the Prophet, all these are names of our Father. The Teacher, our Advocate, the Judge, our Mediator. The word, the I am that I am. And now we also call you the way, the truth, and the life. The way, the truth, and the life. Jesus is the truth. The truth, when you say the truth, it means that He is the truth personified. He is the whole truth and nothing but the truth. And is the enemy of lies. Truth is very powerful. Truth sometimes can be bitter, but it's powerful. And always prevail. No matter what, truth will always come on top. It will always conquer. Truth will always be victorious. You cannot keep the truth. You cannot catch the truth. You cannot match the truth. You cannot change the truth. One way, it will always come out. Truth will always come out. The Bible says, nothing can be done against the truth, but for the truth, nothing. That's what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8, which we just read. So, God is the God of truth. God is the God of righteousness. God is also the God of justice. God wants all of us to be truthful. That's why he always stands for the truth. He stands for the truth and speak the truth, especially to those we need to stand for the truth and speak the truth, especially to those in power. God stands for the truth and he, he wants us to speak the truth at all times. So all believers, every one of us, we have an assignment. Speak the truth at all times, especially to those that are in power. It is disheartening that the corridors of power, the corridors of power is filled with psychophants, full of psychophants, full of liars, full of deceivers. And failure to speak the truth to these people uh, failure to speak the truth to the people in power is one of the problems that is happening in our society today. Because when we don't speak the truth to the leaders, you will discover that the leaders are ill-advised. They are not advised rightly. And there will be injustice. And there will be a lot of problems. Oppression and a lot of evil will always be rampant among the people because truth is not said. So truth is important for everyone of us who are Christian. There will be misrule. There will be possibility of anarchy when the truth is not there. God wants us to speak truth to power. He also wants us to enjoy those who are always in power and pray for our leaders. We need to pray for our leaders. God is aware that leaders are human beings. They are human beings. They can make mistakes. Therefore, our role as followers, as believers, as pastors, as prophets, is to let them know and properly be guided by the truth. Let the people in power know and let them be guided by the truth. The truth will always prevail. God bless you.
are going to come back shortly. After that, we continue from this wonderful teaching. We need to speak the truth. We'll be right back. God bless you. November 4th, our day to prepare for. As we come together to eliminate certain problems that needs divine intervention. Oh God of Vengeance, Allies is the theme for the November edition of Power Must Change Hands, taking place at the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live. 4th of November, 2023, 0700-WAT. This program will be streamed live on all social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Nick Snare. Don't forget, free to air and from television on IS20, the November edition of EMCH. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Come table every difficult matter before the Lord. Come to this meeting with a list of problems you want to eliminate. Jesus, Jesus. Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back. We are still on speak truth to power. That's what we are looking at. Remember I told you that we cannot do nothing. I mean, we can do nothing against the truth. There is nothing you can do against the truth. But for the truth. You can do, there's nothing you can do against the truth. In the Old Testament, when you look at where we stopped. In the Old Testament, King Ahab, he wanted to go to war at a time. He wanted to go to war. God was not pleased with him anyway. That's where we read. That's the, the, the Bible verse, the first King 22, from verse 12 to 29. Even though danger locked him in corner and his life was at risk, he did not know what is in store for him. So in this he didn't know what is in store for him in this spiritual realm. So his friend uh, King Josaphat advised him that uh, he should hear from God before embarking on any warfare. So they call on a prophet called Micahiah. They've already called 400 prophets who had prophesied to hear and assure him that he will be victorious if he goes to the battle. He will come back rejoicing, jubilating. When he comes back to the palace, he will be victorious. But Micaiah inquired from the Lord. You cannot compare somebody who speaks with the Lord or speak to the Lord with somebody who just speaks to men or speak from his mind. No. Micaiah inquired from the Lord about this king going to, to battle. In Ramon Gilead. And by the time Micaiah inquired from the Lord, Micaiah told King Hea, he told him not to go to the battle because if he goes to the battle, he will be killed. But Hea became furious. You know, truth can be bitter. He became furious and got Micaiah pity. Somebody that was telling him the truth. He got him beaten, not only beaten him. Even jailed him for speaking what? The truth. And this is what many of us are doing. The people who will advise us on the right way, they are the people we are fighting. People hate the truth. Are you one of those people who are fighting those who are telling you the truth? Many are fighting those who are showing them the way. When you keep fighting those who are showing you the way, then you are heading to perdition. You are heading to destruction. I pray you will not head to destruction in the name of Jesus. You see, many of us, we hate the truth, especially some men, some husbands. When God has ordained their wife to tell them the truth or to be telling them the way, showing them the way, they will tell the woman, keep quiet, what are you saying? I know better than you. I am the head of the house. There's nothing you can tell me. A lot of people, they block the truth. 
those who are telling them the right thing, they will abandon them. They will shun them away and continue to follow. And what happened to this king Ahab is what happens to many people who reject the truth. What happened to them is destruction. Anyone who hates the truth is heading towards what? Destruction. You can call anybody any name, but when it comes to the truth, you need to hold on to it. They try to, 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 to punish the prophet of God, Micaiah, but at the end of the day, God vindicated him. He vindicated, he vindicated his prophet because Ahab actually died in the battlefield. If he had accepted what the prophet has told him, he would not have died because he hates the truth. He went to the battle and he killed himself in the battle. That is why I would need to tell everyone hearing me, don't hate the truth. Hold on to the truth and let the truth guide your way. In the New Testament, John the Baptist was never afraid. John the Baptist, he was never afraid to tell the truth. He told the truth to power. That king that was there at that time, he told that king the truth. You see, scripturally, it was wrong for King Herod to have married his brother's wife. But nobody was there to tell him. Everybody, they were afraid. They didn't want to tell him that this is not good enough. This is not supposed to be, even though you are a king. But John the Baptist picked up the courage because he was never afraid. He was never afraid. He advised him to amend his way. He told him that what he was doing was wrong. It's true that this is what led to Herodias and her daughter plotting for his assassination. But he said the truth to the king. And this is what you and I were expected to do. Say the truth and let the devil be ashamed. Say the truth and let the devil be ashamed. It's true that at the end of the day, uh, they conspired against uh, John the Baptist through this Herodias. He danced a wicked dance, a dangerous dance that led to the death of claiming the head of John the Baptist in the charger. And the king too, he was wrongly guided. At the end of the day, John the Baptist was killed for the truth. But even though he was killed, his life and his ministry glorified God. That is most important. That is the most important thing all of us has to look at in life. Is your life glorifying God? You can be telling lies up and down and people are praising you. People are healing you because you are telling lies. Meaning that you are living a life that does not glorify God. So for anyone to live a life that glorifies God, you must say the truth at all time. What is important is to live a life that glorifies God. Your life, your ministry must give glory to the Almighty God. Look at Apostle Paul too. He spoke the truth to power. His encounter with King Agrippa, he revealed that he sought to combat the king. But the king rejected the truth. And you could see what happened to the king at the end of the day. Anyone who rejects the truth always leads himself to destruction. May you not be destroyed. May you not be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. Truth is bitter. Truth is wonderful. Truth will always prevail. Truth will lead you through. Beloved, Speak the truth to power. Speak the truth to power and let the devil be ashamed. People will celebrate those who, who live a glorified life to God. Look at 
the person that we are reading about today, John the Baptist. Many of the wonderful disciples of God that we are reading about today, they serve God in truth. They worship God in truth. Beloved, the wonderful thing you can do for yourself in life is to live a life that glorifies God. Any kind of life you live where God is not glorified, it's like the person has come to this world in vain. You will never come to this world in vain. Speak the truth at all times. No matter the area, no matter the circumstances, no matter the environment, the Kaya damn all consequences. He spoke the truth. Even though they jailed him, they gave him bread of sorrow, they beat him, they gave him a dirty slap, and they tried to mock him. They even locked him in the prison, waiting to come and jubilate that what he has said has never come to pass. But God vindicated his prophet. All the people who tried to put him to shame, all of them were put to shame. The same thing will happen. If you are saying the truth, anyone that wants to put you to shame, the Lord will put them to shame. In Jesus' name. We'll be right back to conclude this wonderful teaching. Please don't go away until we come back again. November 4th, our day to prepare for. As we come together to eliminate certain problems that needs divine intervention. Oh God of Vengeance, Allies is the theme for the November edition of Power Must Change Hands, taking place at the Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries International Headquarters, Lagos, Nigeria. Dr. D.K. Olukoya, the General Overseer, Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries, will be ministering live. 4th of November, 2023, 0700-WAT. This program will be streamed live on all social media platforms, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and Nick Snare. Don't forget, free to air MFM television on IS20. The November edition of EMCH. Oh God of Vengeance. Arise. Come table every difficult matter before the Lord. Come to this meeting with a list of problems you want to eliminate. Jesus. Jesus. Is Lord. Mountain of Fire and Miracles Ministries. Surely the Lord is here. Welcome back. We are still on Speak Truth to Power. Speak Truth to Power. You have seen the blessing attached to speaking the truth. The Bible says, Everyone will bless those who speak the truth. And I've just told you that there is no way you can cover the truth. There is nothing you can do for the truth. We can do nothing against the truth, but for the truth. You can do nothing against it, but for the truth. Truth will lead you to a place of blessing. It will take you to a higher level of relevance in life as you continue to speak to me. Beloved, Jesus, our, our Lord Jesus Christ, the word of God is the truth. His name is the truth. So the truth saves and delivers. Do you want to be saved? Then speak the truth. Do you want to be delivered? Speak the truth. So all believers are called to speak the truth at all times, especially to those in power. You are called to speak the truth at all times. Don't speak the truth haphazardly. Don't speak it at a time, and after some time you stop telling the, stop uh, speaking the truth. You now continue to tell lies. There is nothing you can gain by telling lies. People can heal you. People can even bless you one way or the other for telling lies. They may try to appreciate you, but all those appreciation, they will soon feel you away. They will, they will go within air because truth is the only one that can give you victory. Truth is the only one that can deliver you. Truth is the only one that can save you. The Bible says, heaven will bless those who speak the truth. As you speak the truth, 
I pray that the Lord will bless your life. When you speak the truth, even you yourself will be happy. You'll be happy that you are speaking the truth. Your life will be, one, will be so wonderful that even you yourself will enjoy this life. What do you gain in telling lies? You can tell lies to maneuver and get one or two things of life one way or the other. But all those things will vanish. They will all diminish. They will all go one, one way or the other. But when you are trustworthy, you are truthful, there is a great reward awaiting you in heaven. God wants everybody to speak the truth, especially to those in power. I want to ask you, can God trust you? Can God trust you that you are a servant that can speak the truth to those in power or to the people around you? Are you afraid to speak the truth because you are looking at what are they going to do, what they are going to do to me? God is not looking for those kind of people. Speak the truth and God will back you at all times. In the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want you to get to a level where God can trust you because you are a trustworthy somebody. The Lord will see us through and teach us to speak the truth at all times. In Jesus' name. We have some prayers to pray for those who want to continue to speak the truth and make it in life. Close your eyes and pray this prayer. Say, Father, let your word of truth bless my life in the name of Jesus. Father, let your word of truth bless my life. Bless my life. Bless my life. Your word of truth, let it bless my life. Let your word of truth bless my life in Jesus' mighty name. The second prayer I want you to pray, Father, make me an ambassador of truth in the name of Jesus. Father, make me an ambassador of truth. Make me an ambassador of truth. Make me an ambassador of truth in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Number three, say, Spirit of truth, come and reign in my life. Spirit of truth, come and reign in my life. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of Truth, come and reign in my life. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, strangers in my life, come out now and die. In the name of Jesus, strangers in my life, come out now and die. Come out now and die. Come out now and die. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. Truth will enable you to prevail. Truth give you victory in life. Truth will bless your life. Truth will make you formidable. Truth will take you to places in life. You get to the highest level you can ever think of as long as you continue in truth. It is well with you. God bless you. Until we come your way again, please stay tuned. Remain richly blessed. Remain in the firm grips of the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Bye for now. bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank God for the miracle of sleeping and waking up. I decree that today it shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will move you forward in a new way in the mighty name of Jesus. No evil shall befall you this day, neither shall any plague move near your camp. Wherever you go, the favor of the Almighty shall be upon you. Your life shall be plugged into the socket of divine favor, divine restoration, in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All the evil present in this day, I bind them and I cast them out. You shall not be part of the evil that is spreading around in the name of Jesus. The Lord will make you head and never detail in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. I soak the whole of this day in the blood of Jesus. You are going in your coming out shall be blessings. The hand of God shall be mighty upon you. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Have a wonderful day, beloved. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.